with your permission. Forget Monsieur Chauvelin. The jig is mine. <laughs> the French are such superb dancers. <laughs> Have you made your decision? You leave me little choice. What do you want me to do? Your friend Sir Andrew Fuchs has a note tucked in his sleeve. Find out what it says. But how? I leave that to your ingenuity as a consummate actress. You know, you really should be dancing with it yourself, my dear fellow. You'll forgive me, sir. But I do find the minuet rather tedious. In that case, what about that game of hazard you promised me? <laughs> Splendid. But I must warn you, sir, I do feel devilish lucky tonight. Oh. Damnation. <laughs> for the Alamon. You mustn't monopolize him, Suzanne. Otherwise, everyone will think you're afraid he'll stray. Come along, Andrew. Out to fetch Percy. No, don't leave me. I only need to close my eyes for a moment or two. as good as a burnt feather for giddiness. There. I almost feel better already. Oh, dear. Oh, let me do it. There's no harm done. One moment more, and I might have known the lady's name. Lady? Or a duchess, perhaps? <laughs> For shame, Andrew. Entertaining love notes from secret admirers. Behind Suzanne's back. What will she say? There was only a fragment left by the time I got to it. Could you make anything out? It said leave for France tonight. Meet me in the library at midnight for your instructions. And the signature? How was it signed? It was not signed. It was only the symbol of a small flower. The Scarlet Pimpernel. In the library at midnight. 
You've done well, my dear. Very well, indeed. Remarkable how we compliment each other. But then we always did. So this is where you're hiding. You promised me the next jig, you naughty boy. Forgive me, my dear. I shall return him shortly. arrested unless I helped him to discover your identity. Why are you doing this now? Because I could never live with myself knowing that I was responsible for your death. What is one more life to you? You already have the Marquis de Sancerre and his family to your credit. That's not true. Chauvelin deceived me because I spurned him for another. He maliciously put my name on the arrest warrant as informer. and his family to their deaths any more than I can now let you die because of me. Watch me. 